Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Crystal Council unboxing and this is for the month of August. I think this box was a little bit more delayed than usual. Obviously, there's still the coronavirus going on in the world, um, so I don't mind at all. I know there's a lot going on and I completely understand when things are delayed, um, but just to mention that's why it's coming out a little bit later. I just was sent it um, a little bit later than they usually send them. The first thing that is in the box, and I took it out of its plastic already, but this is a little feather. This was the first thing that was on top of the box, which is really crazy because feathers are extremely significant to me, especially in August. So I think that is just so weird that they included a feather and they've never included any feathers before or anything like this. So I'm curious to see why they included this in this month's box. As usual, there's another sticker. This one is like a constellation um, person meditating. It'll focus, there. So that's really pretty. So on the newsletter, it says that the feather is a guinea fowl wing feather. These meditation tools are ethically harvested from a farm in Quebec, Canada. It is a byproduct of the food industry and contains no dye. Its colors are 100% natural. The process is humanely done and FDA approved. Use this feather to waft smoke from your intention candle, sage, palo santo, or any other smoke. Um, and they totally gave away on this card that there's a candle in here. Not a big deal. I was going to look at it any anyway, um, but I might as well show you guys now while I have this card. Um, but this is an intention candle. It says these unique candles were created with the help of pure soy joy candles. Each candle is hand poured in their North Carolina workshop. We sent these artisans our crystals to match with each scent they've created with us. At the end of your candle, you keep your new crystal. Set an intention before lighting your candle and meditate with your crystals around you. I think that's actually really awesome that they made candles based off of crystals um, that the Crystal Council sent to them. Um, it's really interesting that, you know, the scents all have to do with the particular crystal and they match very well and they collaborated on this. This smells so good. It smells so like candy, fruity, um, and I love like fruity candies. In particular to me, this smells like, you know, Pez or kind of like Mike and Ike's. That's probably what this smells like the most. It's like Mike and Ike's. And I love the way that smells. It smells so good. My little stone is falling out. I'm gonna try to put it in so you guys can see, but it keeps rolling around in there. But this is what it looks like. It doesn't say what this particular stone is. I'm gonna have to look on my scroll and see if they indicated what this little stone in my candle was. Um, but it's kind of just rolling about in there, kind of dislodged from the candle itself, but it's super pretty. There's some herbs in there along with the stone and it smells really amazing. This is a lemongrass essential oil with lavender and lemon peel. So that's what it's supposed to smell like to me. It doesn't smell so much like lemongrass. It literally smells like Mike and Ike's. Now jumping immediately into the first actual stone in the box, this is malachite. Anytime I see that, I think Malachi, like from Children of the Corn. Malachite! Please tell me you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is a really pretty, like raw chunk of malachite. Malachite is an important mineral for protecting against negative energy and vibrations within your environment. It helps keep our mind focused on the task at hand and in control over our emotional imbalances. The more control we have over our emotions and attitude, the better person we are able to evolve into. Malachite is a favorite mineral of ours for anyone who is looking to grow, transform their lives, or simply work on themselves. The next one looks like a huge quartz. This one wasn't labeled for some reason on the bubble wrap, probably because they just assume people would know that this is quartz. Um, it's a very recognizable stone, very common. A lot of people have this in their collections. This particular quartz is sulfur quartz and it resonates directly with one's personal will and helps reignite the inner emotions that drive us forward each day. A renewed growth cycle will begin to engage your body when tapping into this stone's energies. This newfound perspective of yourself and the world around you will help you see what it is you truly want. A majority of souls that are lost in the world will have no vision of what they view as important and achievable. This leads people down a scary path full of sadness, monotony, and emotional carnage. One major defining factor of sulfur quartz is its passive ability to lead one's mind while providing hope for your emotional body and spirit. Allow your newly illuminated core to infuse with your own unique cognitive abilities. And the last two stones in the box come in this little bag. A lot of times when they put stones in bags like this, they're the same stone, but these ones definitely aren't. They look very different from one another. This one is Purcelli Bluestone, which is here to turn the attention inwards and begin to fill the void that only you know exists. As you turn your attention towards your own personal well-being, 
one will notice the considerable amount of times they are left pondering about their surrounded environment. As your emotional body begins to heal its wounds, and as your mental health begins to rise above all around you, one will be capable of pushing their physical well-being. It's extremely difficult to prosper in all these areas at once, especially when these attributes have been stifled and silenced for so long. Priscelli Bluestone makes that a reality and truly embodies some of the purest healing and transformative energies. The final stone is Udeolite. Udeolite's energies help balance one's inner emotions through external personal life experiences. This stone provides life energy, self-loving vibrations, and protection over one's aura when carried. Udeolite teaches us to lead with the heart, but not to overwork ourselves and to put too much strain on our mind through overwhelming emotions. This stone should be a daily reminder to take time and work on ourselves when needed, pushing us to dive down and have a deeper connection with our one true self. So I just took a quick scan of the scroll. Um, if you weren't familiar with the Crystal Council, I know I sometimes don't say this just because I make so many of these videos, but they do include a big scroll. Obviously it is a huge scroll and it goes into detail of all the stones that are included in the box. Um, I just did a quick scan of it and I don't see that they included any information on the stone that was in the candle, but that's okay. It's something that you could just kind of, you know, search around and make a guess of what it is. Um, and obviously it wasn't the main thing that was included in this box. So it's just a little additive to have a stone included in the candle. I started doing this in my last video where I went through the survey that I had filled out. Um, if you aren't familiar with the Crystal Council, um, the main premise of the box is that you fill out a survey every month at the beginning of the month and they select stones that have to do with what you're looking to manifest in your life, things that are going on in your life. And they select stones specifically to help with what you're looking for or something that you want. So um, I'm just going to read through the answers that I put on the survey just so you could kind of see the stones that they selected for me based off of the answers that I provided. The first question is, what are some attributes? So the first question on the survey is, what are some attributes? Can I talk today? The first question on the survey says, what are some attributes that you would like to obtain? My God, that took three times for me to get through. But anyway, the answers that I put are balance, protection, transformation, strength and vitality, courage and confidence, and calming and clarity. That sounds like a ton, but it looks like this. Some of them are just grouped together, as you can see but those are all the answers that I put for the first question. The next question is, what are some areas in your life that you would like to work on? And I chose fear and anger and stress. There's that question. And the last part is like an open-ended section. If you wanted to, you know, put in more detail about something that's going on in your life, or if you want to focus on something that may not have been included in the multiple choice, it says, if you have any information you would like to provide us with, please comment below. And I put, I have been anxious lately and have been stressed a little at work. I also allow people to walk all over me. So I'd like to have some strength and have the courage to calmly, but assertively stand up for myself. The first paragraph in the box usually goes into detail about what the box's kind of theme is surrounded about. Um, and mine says, as human beings, we are naturally opposed to change. When we are finally adjusting to routines, seasons, and mentalities, we are often met with yet another transition. This is a reminder that our world is constantly evolving and that we should invest all of our energy into being comfortable. We shouldn't invest all of our energy into being comfortable. I can't read. That's okay. <laughs> our souls were designed to grow and challenge ourselves each day. Just remember that refusing to grow will only harm our evolution on this physical plane. This month, we've crafted your box around transformation, power, and empathy. So I definitely can see where they're coming from as far as, you know, transforming from this place of anxiety and fear that I said I was experiencing power as far as like taking control back into the situation and not letting people walk all over me. And then empathy at the same time, being able to recognize what others are feeling and not just be so consumed with like not getting all walked over, but seeing where the other person is coming from and coming from a place of like, you know, compassionate power and not kind of just being super assertive that you're forgetting that and other person's feelings are also involved. So I think they did a great job. I really appreciate the thought that goes into each box that they craft for me. Um, I know some things like the themes just go with what we as a whole of a human race are going through in the world. I know, you know, in the past they did a lot about coping with like coronavirus things um, and a lot of things I see from other unboxings that I watch of this box on YouTube. They include a lot of the same things like um, last month was the incense um, 
what is it, the incense, what were they, strings? Yeah, the incense strings. And I noticed, you know, a lot of people got those. There are some things that just remain constant within the box, um, and some of the stones can be the same, but at the same time, they always keep in mind what it is that you specifically are looking for when they're crafting your box. So that is it for the August box of the Crystal Council. Let me know what you guys thought of this box, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.